Hi, everybody. I'm Stephen Baldwin, and it's great to be here at the Values Voters Summit. I uh, just got done speaking at uh, 2 o'clock with myself and my partner in a radio show that I do every Saturday night with Kevin McCullough. It's called Baldwin McCullough Radio Show. You can go to bmxradionow.com for more information on that. And it's a fun, once again, Values Voters Summit. Great to be here with uh, folks who really have a heart to make a difference and uh, support and continue to impact society and the culture with uh, the things that I think are, are important and relevant in a way that uh, is reflective on uh, values and family and tradition and things like that. Uh, obviously our faith comes into play uh, with all those things as well. So what Kevin and I talked about was uh, kind of in broad strokes terms uh, the idea of what is the American dream. And uh, we talked about how from our perspective the American dream and the definition of faith biblically are similar, similarly the same thing. The definition of faith according to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says it's being confident in what you hope for and certain of what you cannot see. And I believe the American dream is being uh, confident in what you hope for and certain of what you believe or what you believe you can be as a result of the opportunity that America provides for each and every one of us. So uh, our message was about getting back to that uh, individually, each and every one of us allowing uh, through God's spirit and God's will for his will to be done. And um, it's just been a blessing. A lot of young people here today. Uh, we're doing a wonderful youth event tonight, which will be available online. You'll be able to see all of that uh, probably through the FRC website in the next few weeks. Uh, but we're excited. It's really a, a privilege for us to be here. And uh, we look forward to all of you having fun with us in the future and standing up for what you believe in. God bless. Hey, Clean TV ears, Kevin McCullough, glad to be with you. Uh, you might know my partner in crime, Stephen Baldwin. He and I do a radio show. It's heard on a few hundred stations across the country on Saturday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern. But if you don't, you can get it on bmxradionow.com. But I want to talk to you today, and here's why. Because I believe very passionately that the nation we live in is the greatest that's ever been uh, created. By God's grace, it's been allowed to come about and to be here and by God's grace, it's sustained over the years some amazing uh, uh, principles and, and held to some uh, very uh, amazing uh, concepts in terms of how human government works. But I know a lot of you watching this are homeschooled, and I just want to say, rock on, because I was homeschooled for about four years before I had to go to uh, uh, high school once my mother was diagnosed with cancer. But I will tell you, those four years in that environment were wonderful for me. But it just reminded me as I uh, daily got up and got to do my studies and think about the world at large that as my parents were investing that time in me that I had an obligation to then turn around and invest that somewhere else. And that's why Stephen Baldwin, Kevin McCullough, our company Extreme Media is all about taking the next generation and empowering them to be the movers and shakers that we know God has called them to be. See, my philosophy on this is very simple. If you've got a skill set, if you know how to speak or write or put cars together or create uh, good food or whatever, whatever your skill set is, God gave it to you for a reason and for a purpose. The reason you're supposed to have those skill sets is because you're supposed to do something with them. And if you are really a child of God, if you're really someone that cares about this nation, if you really are a citizen of this planet that believes that there's a larger force at work and that is the God of the universe, then you have an obligation to use those skill sets to tell the truth about Him. See, if you do that, this world's going to be a different place. And it's an honor just to get to say hey to you today. So thanks for being here. Keep it on clean TV.